I think it was a sort of bunker mentality, wasn't it? Um, number 10 in the Cabinet Office were two of the few places in the country where it was, well, it wasn't business as usual. It was business as very unusual. But in terms of people being in the building, mm. they were all there. They worked very long hours. Um, and they were dealing with some of the most, you know, awful things that our country has been through. Um, so I think people got into this, certainly from people I've spoken to now, um, say that they got into this bunker mentality and it, it didn't start off, none of it didn't really happen during the first lock, that first lockdown. It was mm. only really into the summer and then obviously the, the run up to Christmas last year and beyond second lockdown where, where it sort of took off. And it started with, you know, a couple of drinks at the desk, uh, then you know, towards the end of the working day, and then it sort of escalated from there. But um, I've been very careful throughout that we haven't written stories about people having a bottle of wine with a few colleagues at the desks at the end of the working day, because I kind of think that's a grey area. And frankly, I mean, I don't suppose it was happening in the NHS or in schools or in other places where people were going to work. But um, I think all of us can understand that in a high pressure workplace environment where you're there, for long hours anyway, you might want a glass of wine at your desk. Mm. So we've been very careful to distinguish between those sorts of things, which I've ignored, frankly, and events which were purely social, which were planned in advance, um, where alcohol was present, where Prime Minister was present, obviously, at some of them, um, and that no work at all was done. And I think that distinction is really important. This mm -hmm. isn't us just saying, oh, you know, being sort of very anti having a, a drink at work. I mean, I've done that. I'm sure you've done that. I'm sure everyone in the room has Absolutely done that. Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> maybe, not during, maybe not during lockdown. Um, Ever. But, um, but yes, yeah, so I think people got into this sort of bunker mentality. And then um, there is definitely, I was told for that very first story that Boris Johnson was either aware of what was going on um, in that he, you know, either participated or witnessed it, or he turned a blind eye to it.